Arizona DMV Motorcycle Practice Test. Question 1. In counter steering, to initiate a turn, pushing the right hand grip will allow the motorcycle to A. Turn left B. Stay straight on course C. Turn right D. Make a U-turn only 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. The technique of exploiting the physical phenomenon by deliberately countering the steering is achieved by applying a steering torque in the opposite direction of the road curve. For example, if a turn to the right is desired, it is started by pushing the right hand grip. Question 2. The safest place to ride in the rain is A. In the center lane position B. In the tire tracks of other drivers C. On the shoulder of the road D. On main roads only 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. The safest place to ride in the rain is in the tire tracks of other drivers. They are least likely to be slippery. Question 3. As you approach an obstacle that you will need to ride over, you should A. Increase your speed B. Slow down as much as possible C. Maintain the same speed D. Come to a complete stop 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B as you approach an obstacle, you should slow down as much as possible. Question 4. If an unexpected obstacle requires you to turn left quickly, you should A. Apply the front brake B. Press the right hand grip C. Apply the rear brake D. Press the left hand grip 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. If an unexpected obstacle requires you to turn left quickly, you should press the left hand grip to initiate the quick swerve or turn. Question 5. When you need to cross rail tracks that are parallel to you, how should you cross them? A. At an angle of exactly 90 degrees. B. Edge across the tracks. C. At an angle of at least 45 degrees. D. Never cross rail tracks parallel to your lane. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. When you need to cross rail tracks that are parallel to you. You should cross them at an angle of at least 45 degrees. It is not necessary to cross at 90 degrees, as this may disrupt traffic. Question 6. When should you use both front and rear brakes to stop? A. In emergencies only. B. At all times, unless you have a flat tire. C. On hills and curves. D. Never at the same time. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. You should use both front and rear brakes to stop at all times. Both brakes are the most effective way to stop. If you know which tire is flat, gradually apply the other brake. Question 7. Both brakes on your motorcycle should be used. A. For normal stops only. B. In emergency situations. C. When swerving. D. Every time you stop. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Both brakes on your motorcycle should be used every time you stop. 
This is the most effective braking method. Question 8. Where is the engine cutoff switch located? A. Near the left hand grip. B. Near the right hand grip. C. Near the left foot pedal. D. Near the right foot pedal. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. The engine cutoff switch is usually located near the right hand grip. Question 9. If a dog begins to chase you while you are riding, you should A. Approach the animal and speed away. B. Kick the dog. C. Call animal protection. D. Stop until the owner is found. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. If a dog begins to chase you, you should approach the animal and then speed away. This should stop the dog from chasing you. Question 10. When should the right lane position be avoided? A. When there is a hazard in the center of the road. B. When riding through a school zone. C. It should never be avoided. D. When being passed by another vehicle. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. The right lane position should be avoided when being passed by another vehicle. It could encourage the vehicle to move back into your lane too soon. Question 11. To stop as quickly as possible, you should A. Use the rear brake only. B. Use the front brake only. C. Use either brake while swerving the motorcycle. D. Use both brakes at the same time. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. To stop as quickly as possible, you should use both brakes at the same time. Question 12. To help maintain balance during a turn, you should A. Drag your outside foot for support. B. Drag your inside foot for support. C. Decrease or maintain your speed. D. Maintain or increase your speed. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. To help maintain balance during a turn, you should maintain or increase your speed. Motorcycles are not as stable at slow speeds. Question 13. Generally, fill in the bank. Motorcycle lane portion should be avoided. A. The center. B. The left. C. No. D. The right. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. In general, there is no single best position for riders to be seen and to maintain a space cushion around the motorcycle. No portion of the lane needs to be avoided including the center. Question 14. Who can share a lane with motorcycles? A. Other motorcycles only. B. Motorcycles and small cars. C. All other vehicles. D. No one. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Motorcycles should be treated like any other vehicle and require a full lane width to maneuver safely. Question 15. If your front tire fails while riding, you should ease off the throttle end. A. Use the rear brake and move to the side of the road. B. Use the front brake and move to the side of the road. 
C. Pull the kill engine switch and roll to a stop. D. Use both brakes and stop on the shoulder of the road. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. If your front tire fails while riding, you should ease off the throttle and use the rear brake to move to the side of the road. Never use the brake of the flat tire. Question 16. The road ahead looks slippery. What should you do? A. Stop and turn around. B. Use your rear brake only. C. Stop your motorcycle and walk it across the slippery section. D. Slow down before reaching the slippery section. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. If you suspect the road ahead is slippery, you should slow down as much as possible before reaching the slippery section. Question 17. What is a hazard that you must watch for when being passed by another vehicle? A. Extended side mirrors. B. Objects being thrown from windows. C. Wind blasts from larger vehicles. D. All of the above. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When being passed by another vehicle you need to watch for extended side mirrors, objects being thrown from windows, and wine blasts from larger vehicles. Question 18. You must use the high beam lights of your motorcycle when you are, fill in the bank, a vehicle at night. A. Not following or meeting. B. Following. C. Meeting. D. All of the above. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. You must use all the lights of your motorcycle when you are not following or meeting a vehicle at night. Use the lighting when meeting a vehicle. Question 19. All of the following affect your blood alcohol concentration except A. The amount of alcohol B. Your weight C. How fast you drink D. Time of day 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. The time of day does not affect your blood alcohol concentration. Alcohol can affect your driving at any time. Question 20. Another driver is most likely to try and share a lane with you. A. When preparing to turn at an intersection. B. In heavy traffic. C. When someone wants to pass you. D. All of the above. 5. 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Another vehicle may try to share a lane with you in heavy traffic when someone wants to pass you or when preparing to turn at an intersection. Ride in the center lane to discourage drivers from sharing your lane. Question 21. Help other vehicles notice that you are slowing down by. A. Beeping your horn. B. Swerving from side to side. C. Using signal lights. D. Flashing your brake light. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Help other vehicles notice you are slowing down by flashing your brake light. This should especially be used when slowing quickly or at unusual areas. Question 22. The majority of your motorcycle brake power is provided by A. The front and rear brake equally B. The front brake C. The clutch
D. The rear brake. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. 75% of your motorcycle stopping power is provided by the front brake. Question 23. Motorcycle brake lights are not as noticeable as car brake lights. What can you do? A. Use your high beam. B. Install extra lights. C. Flash your brake light. D. Avoid driving at night. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Motorcycle brake lights are not as noticeable as car brake lights. Flash your brake light to alert the driver behind you. Question 24. The press step of turning means that you press. A in the clutch. B your feet on the foot pegs. C the front or rear brake. D the handle grip of the direction you are turning. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D the press step of turning means that you press the handle grip of the direction you are turning. Question 25. To increase your chances of being seen by another vehicle. A. Avoid driving in heavy traffic. B. Ride only during the day. C. Wear reflective clothing. D. Ride in areas where there are lots of motorcycles. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. To increase your chances of being seen by another vehicle, you should wear reflective clothing. Question 26. Motorcycles are especially in danger when being passed by large vehicles because A. Large vehicles cannot accelerate as fast as motorcycles. B. Large vehicles tend to swerve into your lane. C. Large blasts of wind can affect your control. D. Their drivers are often tired from working long hours. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Motorcycles are especially in danger when being passed by large vehicles because large blasts of wind affect your control. Motorcycles are smaller than cars, and therefore, are affected more by the blasts of wind. Question 27. When carrying cargo in saddlebags, you should A. Distribute the weight evenly between both bags. B. Make sure both bags are full. C. Fill the right bag before the left one. D. Fill the left bag before the right one. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. When carrying cargo in saddlebags, you should distribute the weight evenly between both bags. Question 28. When loading saddlebags, it is important to A. Not exceed 20 pounds per bag. B. Fill one completely before loading others. C. Load them evenly with the same weight. D. Fill all of them completely. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. When loading saddlebags, it is important to load them evenly with the same weight to keep the bike balanced. Question 29. If you are approaching a turn and you need to shift gears, you should change gears. A. During the turn. B. After the turn. C. Before entering the turn. D. All of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. 
If you are approaching a turn and you need to shift gears, you should change gears before entering the turn. Question 30. What is engine braking? A. Upshifting to gain speed on hills. B. Using the engine kill switch to stop the motorcycle. C. Where your engine stops working. D. Downshifting through gears to slow the motorcycle. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Engine braking is done by downshifting through the gears as a means to slow the motorcycle instead of relying only on the brakes. Question 31. How is maximum straight line braking achieved? A. Apply only the rear brake. B. Apply only the front brake. C. Pull the kill engine switch. D. Fully apply both brakes. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Maximum straight line braking is achieved by fully applying both the front and rear brake without locking them. Question 32. If your front wheel locks, you should. A. Use the rear brake only. B. Continue applying the brake. C. Release the rear brake only. D. Release the front brake and reapply it smoothly. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. If your front wheel locks, you should release the front brake and reapply it smoothly to regain control. Question 33. Begin signaling, fill in the bank, feet before making a turn. A75. B200. C50. D100. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Begin signaling 100 feet before making a turn to warn the drivers behind you of your intentions. Question 34. Use your horn when. A. You are crossing rail tracks. B. You are making a left turn. C. You pull the kill engine switch. D. You think someone may enter your lane without seeing you. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Use your horn when you think someone may enter your lane without seeing you. Question 35. While riding a motorcycle, you should position your feet. A. Hovering just above the ground. B. With your toes pointed downward. C. Firmly on the foot pegs. D. All of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. While riding a motorcycle, you should position your feet firmly on the foot pegs. Pointing them down can cause them to catch on something. Question 36. What is the most efficient way to know what is going on behind you? A. Turn around and scan the area. B. Stop and look around. C. Check your side mirrors frequently. D. Carry a passenger to check for you. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. The most efficient way to know what is going on behind you is to check your side mirrors frequently. Question 37. If you are riding in a group and you need to pass the vehicle in front of you, how should you pass? A. One rider at a time. B. As a whole group. C. In pairs.
D. Never while riding in a group. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. If you are riding in a group and you need to pass the vehicle in front of you, you should pass one at a time because it is safest. Question 38. A benefit of riding in the center lane position is it? A allows you to turn easily. B prevents others from sharing your lane. C helps you maintain a consistent speed. D keeps you hidden from other drivers. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. A benefit of riding in the center lane position is it discourages other drivers and riders from trying to share your lane space. Motorcycles require a full lane width to operate safely. Question 39. To help stabilize the motorcycle in a turn, you should A. Pull in the clutch B. Increase the throttle C. Decrease the throttle D. Apply the rear brake 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. To help stabilize the motorcycle in a turn, you should increase the throttle when turning. Question 40. A motorcycle can be ridden between lanes of traffic. A. At no time. B. In designated areas. C. Only if all traffic is headed in the same direction. D. When traffic is at a standstill. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. A motorcycle should never be ridden between lanes of traffic, even if it looks like there is room. Question 41. The staggered formation is the best choice when A. Parking parallel to the curb. B. Taking curves. C. There is an emergency situation. D. Riding in a group. 5. 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. The staggered formation is the best choice when riding in a group. It helps you stay close together while maintaining a space cushion. Question 42. When slowing down, which brake should you use? A. Rear brake only. B. Front or rear brakes. C. Front brake only. D. Both front and rear brakes at the same time. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. When slowing down, use both front and rear brakes. Although the front brake is more powerful than the rear, both brakes should always be used. Question 43. In order to avoid fatigue, you should stop riding at least every fill in the bank. Hour S. A1. B4. C6. D2. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. In order to avoid fatigue, you should stop riding at least every two hours. Motorcycles are more tiring to ride than cars are to drive. Question 44. The best way to lessen your chances of skidding on a slippery surface is to A. Drag your feet on the ground. B. Slow down before you get to the slippery surface. C. Ride on the shoulder of the road. D. Do all of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. 
The best way to lessen your chances of skidding on a slippery surface is to slow down as much as possible before you get to the slippery surface. Question 45. When riding through a curve, the most effective lane position. A is in the center position. B is the right lane position. C will change throughout the curve. D is any lane position as long as you maintain it. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. When riding through a curve, the most effective lane position will change throughout the curve. Use lane position to your advantage. Question 46. Before downshifting, you should A. Decelerate B. Lean forward C. Flash your brake light D. Apply the rear brake 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Before downshifting, you should decelerate. Driving too fast when downshifting can cause the motorcycle to lurch. Question 47. How can you increase your chances of avoiding hazards at night? A. Do not wear a helmet. B. Reduce your speed. C. Ride in a group. D. Stay in the same lane position. 5. 4 3 2 1 Answer B. Increase your chances of avoiding hazards at night by reducing your speed. This will give you more time to react if something unexpected happens. Question 48. When approaching a blind intersection with a stop line, you should stop first. A. Straddling the stop line. B. Behind the stop line. C. Where you can see both ways. D. With your rear tire on the stop line. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. When approaching a blind intersection with a stop line, you should stop first behind the stop line. After stopping you may move forward until you can see clearly. Question 49. Which of the following should be done at night? A. Follow vehicles closely. B. Slow down so you can stop within the range of your headlights. C. Avoid riding on rural roads. D. Wear brighter clothing so you can be seen. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. At night it is important to slow down to a speed that allows you to safely stop within the range of your headlights. Question 50. Which of the following affects your blood alcohol concentration? A. The number of drinks you've had. B. How much you weigh? C. How fast you drink? D. All of the above. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. How fast you drink, the number of drinks you've had, and how much you weigh are all factors in your blood alcohol concentration. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.